Before reading the book of Revelations, uh, you know, I did not stay here. And sadly, it's, it's time for us to go back home. But um, as we're reading Revelations, um, they was talking about the story where John... Oh, mm, sorry. John... Uh, was taken up to heaven and he got to see he got to like John was taken up to heaven and he got to see what heaven was like and see God sit on his throne and the people that were near God uh, all those people who were in the presence of God all they could do was praise God and say how holy he was they just say holy 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 how worthy he is and just say how holy it was we're going through our everyday lives uh, lacking that presence of God, lacking God's presence, feeling we're just kind of going through life running on E. And I, I felt victim of that. Disconnect is the lack of holiness, the lack of righteousness, which keeps us from being in that presence of God. You know, they were that they, they were in that presence because because they were they they had to be they had to be holy to be in a holy presence. Because God can't be where in a place where it's not in a space where it's unholy. It's so. For us to be in God's presence in our everyday life, we must be, like I said, holy and righteous. And there's so many things that can take us from being in God's presence to things that are not of God. Whether that be, uh, you know, just, and I had to ask myself, because I feel like I've been struggling with, you know, being in God's presence. You know, I've kind of just been going through life vicariously, just kind of, I've been running on E, and I'm like, dang, I, I, I need that fire back. I, it's like, dang, I was out here yesterday, I'm like, dang, I need that fire back. Like, how can I get that fire back? I want to, those times where I've really been close to you, and I was, I used to treat people, I used to treat people. Uh, like how you would want me to treat them. I would love people how you'd want me to love people. I'd respond to things versus reacting to things out of anger, spite, or you're getting irritated. I find myself more irritable now. I find myself more annoyed and like just because I'm lacking God's presence. I've been running on E and I'm like, God, like if I, when I'm trying, when I try to do that, when I try to be, when I try to be, you know, um, live like you and love like you and talk like you is i have to like force myself to do it and it's a little more difficult and i said god what is that versus time in the past where it wasn't and i realized where the times i've been you know the times where i've been truly been able to be a light and feel like i've been a light and you know love and just live and have that just the joy of the lord is what i'm talking about is moment I, and it hit me it was in season of my life where i was the most holiest when i was living right when I was doing right, and I had to, and I realized, like, man, I've, uh, I've kind of strayed away from that. I strayed away from living right. I've been playing with sin more. I've been entertaining sin more, and and, and it hit me, and I'm like, okay, I need to. The only difference between now and then is because is now I've been entertaining it more, and I th and I've been entertaining because I've been, I had the mindset, the attitude of like, well, okay, um. It's just a little bit here, or it, it can't hurt, or just kind of dibbling, dabbling with it. Or, and we think, I heard that we, I heard this saying, we think since there's like little sins, and we think, oh, okay, we can entertain the little sins because it's not like the big one, right? Uh, well, and it's like, all right, the sin of like a big whale. Since we haven't, the big sin is like a whale. Since we can get swallowed whole by the big sin, these little fish bites aren't gonna, you know, hurt us. It's just a little fish bite. And, but all in all, like, it's still eating away at you, right? Uh, and the more and more it eats away at you, whether it just be a bunch of little tiny small fishes or the big, or like how we think, like the big, whatever we label as the big sin or whatever the, 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 the whale, it's still eating away at you. And if you allow those little small tiny fishes, like those small, which are the small little habits and they're just entertaining and they're dibbling and dabbling with it, that will eat away at you slowly but surely over time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and it's going to show itself. And I want to want to tell you guys, you know, for myself and for you, if you want to have that fire, if you want to have that love of the Lord, if you want to be like, dang, I just want to be a better person. I want I want to have that joy. I want to get that joy back. I don't want to deal with anxiety and depression and doubt and stress anymore. When we're living right, when we're living right and we're living a holy life, that allows us to not only hear from God more, but be in His presence. We're we're able to be more aware of His presence, and when we're able to be to be in that presence more we're able to to live in and it shows in us and that's how we get filled up so much so where we're able to get overflowed in the filling up so where then we can pour out that 
to other people. Yeah. And that all starts with we have to get filled up first to even have that excess that's pouring over into other people and loving other people and showing that. So whatever that is in your life, whatever that you may be battling with, that you can honestly look yourself in the mirror like, dang, you know what? I haven't been living right. I mean, some of the choices I've been making or some of the habits I've been having, that's probably bringing me, straying me away from God. Whatever that is, ask yourself whatever that is and ask God to, or ask God to like, God, what is that thing that's been slowly taking me away from you? What is that? What is that thing? Yeah. I want to, I want you to pray that prayer and um, whatever that is, ask God like, okay, God, how can I help me? Whatever this is tempting me to dibble and dabble in this or why am I doing it? What is the root cause of this? Because I want to be in your presence. I want to live like you. I want to be like you. Because, like I said, there's joy where God is. There's peace where their God is. It's, um, it's so much. What are some of the good things that come with being like in the space where God is? Um, 